did a video a couple of weeks ago showing the pinstripe ball python with the swollen head and overnight it's took a turn for the worse <laughs> Okay YouTube, Nick Pomfret here from Pomfret's Pythons. Um, got up this morning, checked the pinstripe female and its head's swollen even more and it's looking it's looking ill. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, grasp the nettle and take her to the vet. Um, I found a vet that's about 10 miles out of town, it's in the countryside. Um, it's the only one that I can find nearby that specialises in uh, reptiles and uh, I'll just show you the, the snake before I uh, take her out of the tub and take her to the vets. Thanks. Give you a close look at her head now. There's definitely something not right there. So we'll be going to the vet. Okay, I'm here at Oak Hill Vets. It's uh, farm animals, equine, small animals, and reptiles. It's out in the countryside. Um, We'll see what happens. I'll give him a ring to tell Mummy. Okay, I'm, a, I'm back from the vets now. It was a bit of a traumatic experience. Um, he opened his mouth. He got hold of the bottom jaw, the skin on the bottom jaw, and pulled pulled his mouth open. Uh, and blood start, blood and liquid started pouring out of her mouth straight away. So she's got some sort of, had some sort of abscess uh, that's been festering. Um, he gave her an antibiotic in, injection and a anti-inflammatory. And it's looking like she's going to be on the mend. Uh, I'll just show you a picture of the rub. Okay, I literally just got her back home. I don't really want to disturb her very much, but I'm going to... Uh, you can see the mess. It looks like there's been a bit of a bloodbath. Um, I'm going to clean her, uh, give her new paper, and get her back into, her, into the rack. Okay, thankfully she's... Looking a lot better. Her head's even now is swollen. Swollen on her head's gone down. Back in a nice clean uh, tub. Fingers crossed. Okay, this is an array of the medicine medicines I've got to administer to her over the next couple of weeks. They preloaded these. Uh, syringes with the correct amount of antibiotics in them and, and I've also got some spur in this bottle uh, in case I need to reload them myself. Every, after every injection I've got to put on a new needle. Uh, there's some iodine here that I've got to use to uh, rub the patch of skin where I'm going to inject. There's a spur syringe and two pre-loaded syringes of anti-inflammatory. Uh, he actually administered an injection whilst I was there and took me through it step by step so that I'd be able to do it myself from home uh, without keep taking the snake on a 10 mile run, stretching it out for no reason. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, 
I was extremely impressed with with the vet and his professionalism. The, the they initially inspected the snake's mouth whilst I was there, and I saw the blood coming out and the the sister, whatever it had in its mouth, bursted. Uh, and then he he took her into a different room where he had an assistant, and they cleaned her mouth out with iodine. Uh, and then he brought her back in and, and showed me how to administer the injection. Now the the antibiotic she's got to have every three days and the anti-inflammatory every other day. Um, but like I said, I'm extremely impressed and given it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive veterinary surgery. Uh, is when I got there, I thought this is it was £56 initial consultancy fee plus the uh, vet's time and, and the drugs on top. And he literally, I was literally in, in, in his surgery with the snake for an hour with him and, and, and thoughts were crossing through my mind, this is going to cost a few hundred pounds. Uh, so when I got to the till, for all that, for all these uh, medications and his time, and the £56 cons initial fee, the total bill ends, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so I'd highly recommend this vet to anybody who's uh, keeping reptiles and lives in this area. So it's Oak, Oak Hill Veterinary Centre, Wood Plumpton, in the countryside on the outskirts of Preston. So that's it for today. It looks like all well, ends well. And by the way, I, I've been to the dentist. Uh, I took I took this snake to the bed at 9.30. It was 10.30, 22 to 11 by the time I got out. And I had a dentist appointment back in Preston at 11 o'clock. So it, it cut it a bit fine, but I got there. But the side of my mouth's numb. So, um, Sorry if I'm slurring my words a little bit. So Nick Pomfret, Pomfret's Pythons, signing out.